Hello guys and welcome back in my channel. In this video I will show you the farming route to farm this material. This one basically the Spectral Husk. This is a material used by for example uh, Aloy. For who plays PlayStation should have already have Aloy. And Aloy uses this as a ascend material. Also some weapons will use this one as well. Uh, just like a Kokomis one. Uh, and and uh, yeah. So yeah, let's just uh, do it. Uh, you can start to pre-farm as well for the next uh, character. This is basically their position where I found uh, most of them. I will, uh, yeah, I will skip the part where I killed them. So yeah, showing you only their position, and uh, let's see in how in one route how many of them we can get of the drop. All right, let's start. Uh, yeah, from the Amakunmo Peak. So just teleport to this teleport waypoint, and from here jump down until you can reach this point of the map. And uh, and uh, yeah, you will if you're close enough, you will see it. There is one uh, Geo one just downside. It will be this way. Yeah, I can see it. After you come here and start the fight, others will spawn as well. Just be careful because they are pretty hard to fight as well. Oh my god, the time. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, not bad. Let's drop. Now let's go to the next one. Like most of them, most of those I marked on the map, like normally you can see one. If you get close enough, others will spawn or just you don't see anything. But when you get close, they will spawn. For example here, if I remember, there were nothing. But if you get closer to this uh, Electrogranum, those three will spawn. So if you don't see them on your map, uh, don't worry, just, uh, yeah, just get closer to the position. They will probably spawn. Let's so just keep going on the witch for that direction. Those three as well uh, will spawn only if you get uh, on that point. Next point is just uh, yeah, go from uh, this uh, smaller rod and uh, now start to go toward the downside uh, yeah, direction. It's better if you have like someone who can uh, auto aim, aim bot them, uh, just like a Yoimiya and those kind of uh, character. Or really strong AoE, like a Kazuha. Okay, here, uh, now go toward these, those uh, treasure hoarders. Here you will see some of them. The first one. Now there are more. Okay, um, the, those, uh, the Geo one normally works here, but before when I killed him, he worked into there, so I, I killed them together. So be careful if you don't uh, see, if you miss one. Is in the rod. Okay, next one is here. Okay. Now there's nothing on that side, so keep going in front of you. In theory, they spawn every two day. No, every day. Just like every mob. Every 24 hours. Or maybe 12 hours, like the uh, Katano wa Sabitomare. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know actually the correct number because yeah, <laughs> it's just got to release this new patch. So this is the this part. Now we're gonna farm this part. There are a lot of them as well. So just teleport to this teleport waypoint and fly to there. Also, if you don't know how to unlock those two teleport waypoints on uh, this. Uh, Sairu uh, Seirei Island. You can watch my guide of uh, of Seirei Thunder Chasers. If I remember, it's called the World of West. And yeah, you can stop the HP draining. Also, unlock the those two teleport waypoints. Anyways, just a fly now to there. Okay, here. Prepare to fight. First one. You go in front of you. There are a lot of them. Actually, in total, only four. But still, uh, since this mob is pretty rare on the map, uh, yeah. Just to kill uh, everyone. Okay, here we go, those four. Now, uh, let's go to this teleport waypoint. We're gonna kill this one and then go down from here. Why go to here for this longer distance? Because there are really a lot of them. Like, uh, every point I marked have has like a tree of them spawned, uh, something like that. Huh? Here as well, those three will spawn if you get cl close to the shrine, guys. Uh, remember. After those three, you can teleport back to the teleport waypoint. Now this time, uh, let's go behind us. 
The three will spawn if you get close. Enough. Okay. After this, yeah, just go toward the... Uh, you have to swim to there. Actually, just to find your best way to get there. I will like from here to here. If you have a Kazu, if you have a Mona or Ayaka, it's better. Or it's up to you if you want to fly to there from the top side. The teleport waypoint. But uh, that will uh, take more time instead of swimming, I guess. Also here as well. No, oh, I just discovered this new point here. You come here to those um, Siganoderma, they will spawn. Go on. Okay. Once you're here, go toward that direction. Those four will spawn uh, or they are already there, I don't remember. But uh, yeah, they are here. Just come here to kill them. Okay, after those, just to keep going uh, to, uh, on the beach. Here, those three will spawn when you get close enough. Okay. After this, that side as well, there are three of... Uh, no, two of them. No, three of them, sorry. The only cons of those mobs are they are hard to kill. But about the rest, uh, yeah, the locations is pretty fine on the map, um, so... Now this teleport waypoint. Once you teleport here immediately, you know, because I already spawned them, if you go downside a bit, like uh, close to these uh, devices, those two will spawn. Also remember that the guys may be in some spots, like uh, where it contains a, ch a chest or the um, puzzle, maybe they will spawn only for once. But uh, in, yeah, in theory they will always spawn every 24 hours. Now just to fly down on this small tree, when you get there, there are three of them. Okay, got this one. Okay, teleport here. Left side. When you get close to there, those four will spawn. Yeah, this I remember. When you get uh, this location, those four. Where's the last one? The last one is still here, watching. Okay, after those, teleport back. This time, go toward the beach. Right side. Those as well will spawn when you get close. Okay, after here, we have to move toward this Koseki village. Now behind us... Just here, jump down from the cliff. Yeah, for example, those three, I don't know if they will spawn after you take the chest. I hope, uh, yeah, normally normally those type of mobs uh, should respawn anyways. From the past experience, uh, the game is like that. Okay, after that, teleport back to the top side, go in front of you. This one is again two of them protecting a chest. Okay, after this spot, teleport to the assess. Uh, it says shine. Then go toward the beach. On this small uh, rock, uh, those three will spawn when you get there. Okay, nice. Last one of this um, Sisei Isla is just here. This teleport waypoint in front of you. Wait. Those three. They are really annoying. Oh my god, to kill. Okay, here we go. So those are the points I found and I marked them. Now, after this one, let's go to the Watatsumi Island. On the Watatsumi Island, the road is this. And yeah, let's start from this teleport waypoint on the top side. From here, just to jump down, you will see two of them. No, four in total, but a group of two. Those two will just stay here. Okay, after you kill those two, take the drop. And now you can go downside for the other two. Just to hear a name of one. Go to the drop to fall down. Okay, after here, let's go. Yeah, let's go to the Sangominia Shrine first. This direction, fly down. You already see them, those uh, protecting the chest. Those two. And this one. Now just to jump down. Once you jump down, go toward. This part, you will see one. This, if I remember, will those two will no. This one will spawn only if you get close enough. Those two slimes and that uh, that one will spawn. Oh, right. oh, three drops, nice. Yeah, never mind. So we will do the circle. Avoid it. Okay. Once you come here, I uh, don't care about those two sabitomare. And uh, yeah, downside here you will see a lot of them, single by single. Yeah, single one. Okay, here those two done. Now there are more. Other two there. Okay, and the last one is there with um, Green Sentinel as well. After that point, let's go to the Moonshine. This time, this direction. Let's climb. Okay, once you're here, just jump down, drop down. You will see there are two of them. No, three of them here. 
Okay, nice, so we killed. Alright, after that, uh, teleport to this teleport waypoint. I mean, uh, state of the seven again. This time behind us, uh, a bit on the right side. Inside there, you will see three of them. No, uh, four actually. Uh, here we go. So, four in total on this part. Now, go to this teleport waypoint. Go toward this direction. There is a tunnel. Small cave. You can go across it. Those will spawn when you get there. Okay. After this one, keep going in front of you. Don't uh, care about those uh, fatwis. And uh, there are two of them as well. After those two, yeah, just to swim to the other part. And you have to climb, yeah, swim again. And climb this one. There is one here. If you hit this one at the top side, there is another one. Okay. After you killed here, jump down. Drop down and walk toward here. There are some uh, some of them uh, on this road. Okay, and when you come here, the other three will spawn you. So it's not only two guys, remember. Okay, after this uh, straight line, we basically finished. Yeah, that's all. And let me see, in one route uh, we got... Uh, 113 of the small one, 27 of the green one, and 6 of the uh, blue one. I guess in uh, with a few runs, a few routes, uh, is uh, um, two or three words of, of farming uh, should be enough uh, for you to get uh, enough mat for your weapon or material uh, or character. So that's all, guys. Hope this video helped you to collect those spectral uh, nucle nucleus, heart, and husk. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.